Did you know that AI can transfer leads to the right person or to another AI agent in your company? Well, thanks to High Level, we can do this very easily. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how that works. We're going to set this up for a conversation AI bot. But the cool part is you can also do this for voice AI agents where you can transfer calls from the AI agent to an actual salesperson or to another AI agent to accomplish a goal. So let's dive into the setup and I'll show you how this works. All right, so I'm in my GoHello sub account and before I jump into the setup, there's two things we have to accomplish. So number one, we have to make sure that we transfer a lead from a bot to an actual salesperson or could be any support person. So for that purpose, we firstly have to build a workflow so that we can map it later into our conversation AI bot. So let's do the first step. I'm gonna head over to automations and then you have to create a new workflow I already have one created, so you can just copy mine. It's very basic and it just has two steps. So all you have to do is add two actions. So the first one is assign to user. This is the part where you will assign it to a salesperson, could be a customer support member or whoever you wanna give it to. So just select the user right here. You can also map it to multiple users if you want. And you can also enable the option of only apply to unassigned contact. So this is also another option which you can choose. Once you're happy with this, this is optional, but I do like to add an internal notification because if a conversation AI bot was handling the text messages or if it was chatting with the prospect or Facebook or Instagram, no matter what the channel is, we can have AI bots for that. But the point is if you want conversation AI to roll over the conversation to an actual person, we definitely should let them know. So for that purpose, the internal notification can really help. So these are the only two actions that I've set up and if you want to add in more stuff of course you can do that but for now we are good to move forward to the next step so I'll go back from the workflows and we're gonna head over to settings and then you will find conversation AI so let's go ahead and click on that and you can see here that I have a couple of bots set up so we'll get into that I'm gonna open the general support bot here if you do not have any conversation AI bot created you can easily create it by clicking on create bot and from here you can choose the objective the general Q&A basically helps with conversations answering replies and then appointment booking bot is self-explanatory and then you can also create from scratch if you do not want to pick any goal so general Q&A is the one that I use for the general support bot so let's go ahead and open that so here I can show you some quick settings so you can see the bot is in autopilot mode it is also supported in all channels and if you scroll down under advanced settings we have mentioned the business name then how much time should the bot wait to respond the maximum messages a bot can send in a conversation so all that stuff is already set up here then under bot training this is the part where you train the bot based on a knowledge base which you can easily create right here but the main part for this video is bot goals. So if we head over to this, this is the advanced version. So if you do not see it this way, make sure switch to advanced view and this will give you the prompt access. But if you scroll down, this is where the magic will be happening. So you can see we have an option to set up your actions and we have these five quick actions available, right? So in the start of the video, I discussed two use cases. Number one, we're gonna have the conversation AI bot transfer a lead to an actual salesperson and then in case number two we're going to have this general support bot transfer the conversation to another bot like the appointment booking bot so we're going to start with case one and you can see we have an option to trigger a workflow so i already have created one so i'll show you how this is set up so all you have to do is click on trigger a workflow and then click right here I already have one created, so I named it transfer to sales agent. You can name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And then this is the part where you select a published workflow. So now you can see why I went to create an automation first, because in that way we move along the correct order. So it will save you time if you already created the workflow and you just have to map it here. So this is the workflow that we mapped it to. And then we have to tell the bot when should this event happen. And you can see here that I've mentioned when user is ready to book an appointment but wants to speak to a sales agent before booking an appointment. Because if the conversation AI bot is trying to get somebody booked but they have some questions, maybe they want to ask about the program or the fees or everything that the bot is not able to handle, then in that case, you can transfer it to actual sales agent. And in that workflow, you can see that we assigned it to a person and then let them know that, hey, you know, this is a conversation you have to take care of. So that way the bot can actually just hand that over 
over. So this is case number one. And of course, we'll test this towards the end of the video. So this quick action is for case one. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on save here. And once it is saved, it will show you one here. That means that you have one action setup. Of course, you can add in more if you want. But this is generally how the setup goes. So let's close this and then move over to case two, where we want the general support bot to switch it over to another bot based on a goal. Now I showed you that I had two bots set up. So this one handles just the queries or the introduction part. But once somebody is dialed in and they want to book an appointment straight away, we can actually switch it to the other bot. And usually if we have goal based bots differentiated, like I have done, it usually helps them optimize and work well. Because if a bot has a singular goal and you have trained it around that, usually it will perform really well. So now let's go to this transfer bot quick action. And here you can see I already have one created, which is transferred to appointment booking bot. Now you saw that I did have another bot created in this account. And that is why I see that option. So I literally just have to map it here. And then it shows you the current bot, the selected bot, just to give you some explanation. Under the trigger condition, we have to let the bot know that when should this quick action take place. And that is exactly what I've mentioned here. If the user has no questions and wants to book an appointment eagerly. So I think it's perfect. And right below that, I've mentioned some example phrases. If somebody says they want to book an appointment or when are you available, stuff like that, just to give some more context. I think this is looking good. So once you have this dialed in and you're happy with this, you can go ahead and click on save. And of course, you can also do more bot transfers if you have multiple bots set up in your account. So, you know, the possibilities are endless. So let's go ahead. I'm going to click on save right here. And once everything is set up, you can go ahead and start testing this. I will show you a quick preview of what happened when I tested this. So let me pull up a conversation where we can see this in action. All right, so here's a quick conversation based on my testing. So I texted from my number to the number that I have set up for the conversation AI bot on this account. So you can see it responded. This is the bot icon right here. And as I said, I'm interested in learning more about their services. So it gave me some feedback, a link to the case studies based on how I have trained the bot. And then here I said, OK, how do I move forward? It gave me some more directions. And then when I finally said that I want to book an appointment, when do you guys have an availability? This qualifies for case two, where it should transfer the general Q&A bot or the support bot to the appointment booking bot. And you can see here that it says agent transferred. So it worked beautifully. And whenever that happens, you can see a dialog box just like this, which really helps you understand how this thing is working. So you can click on view details and it will tell you which is the current bot now after the transfer, which was the previous agent and then the contact name and all the details and which quick action took place. So this is really helpful to understand how this is progressing. And of course, you can test it yourself. So once the bot transferred it, you can see that the appointment booking bot started giving us the availability because I have the calendar integrated into that. And you can see once I confirm the time, it actually booked an appointment. And here it is. It also shows a dialog box for that, which is really helpful. And if I click on view appointment, you can see under the source, it says conversation AI. So it is helping us to also track how the appointment was created. And you can see here that the appointment was booked successfully. So in a similar way, if somebody starts asking questions before they want to book an appointment, then it will actually trigger that workflow that we created. So this was a quick overview of how you can actually transfer your leads to a sales agent or to another AI bot. And of course, you can also do this for voice AI agents because they also have quick actions available. So if you have a look at my screen here, if you click on new action under a voice AI agent, it gives you an option to do a call transfer. So this is the part where you can give it similar context and you can forward the call to a phone number of your actual sales agent, or you may also transfer it to a number that has another voice AI agent set up. So in case you start with the customer support voice AI agent, if somebody wants to book an appointment or if somebody has an urgent issue, in that case, you can transfer it to another AI agent that is designed and equipped to handle that specific issue. So you can see how powerful this is if you use it the right way. And I hope this video gave you some direction and some food for thought on how you can use these features inside of high level. That was about this video. This is Osama signing off. I'll see you in the next one.